Oh my god, that dude was flying. What's going on, you guys? Cryptic Element here, coming at you with a brand new Black Ops 3 video here on the channel. Today is the start of the double crypto key weekend here on Black Ops 3, so we're going to hop into some domination and earn some of those crypto keys. I'm going to leave a link to Call of Duty's tweet down in the description so you guys can check out the image they have up for double crypto keys and double liquid divinium if you guys are into zombies so i'm gonna have a link to that down in the description below if you guys want to go check it out but let's get into the class setup for domination so we're gonna be using the man of war assault rifle today fully auto assault rifle strong damage with a slow rate of fire and then for attachments we got grip quick draw and fast mags and for perks we got ghost scavenger awareness and blast suppressor our specialist ability, we're going to be rocking Outrider's Vision Pulse. For streaks, we got the Lightning Strike, the Sentry, and the Wraith. So if you guys do end up enjoying this video, don't forget to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And without further ado, let's get into a match of Dom. Alright guys, we are back. We are playing some Domination on the map Havoc using the Man of War. It's actually funny because I was playing... The shit. I thought it was still on the flag. I was actually playing campaign yesterday, and I was using the Man of War. I was playing the Sandcastle mission, and I figured, you know what? I'm gonna use this in multiplayer. Why not? It'll be good for my video for for tomorrow. All right, got revenge on that guy. Took him out. They just take C now. They were a little late on that. Alright. B is a literal death trap on this map. Alright, assist, I'll take it. Screw it. Going for it. I'm going for it. Get away! Alright, you got the points. All right, so we're 150 off our lightning strike. Is that a guy? No, it's, that's a guy. I saw his feet, I'm like, is he prone or is that a dead body? Ah, I couldn't get the assist on that. If I had the assist, I could have had my lightning strike. Gotta do this. Hey! Got my turret. My sentry turret, my sentry gun, whatever you want to call it. It was a turret in Advanced Warfare, so I guess you'd call it a turret. Nice, nice. Alright. Looks like they're trying to... Ooh, not a good spot to lay down in. Can I get him? No! Damn it! Thought I could take that guy out and then the thing would be in their spawn, but... Looks like I died, but it looks like they're taking him out anyways. Yeah, but the double crypto key weekend is pretty sweet. Get some more keys, start our weapons and whatnot. I mean, I will admit it's not a direct like solution to this whole supply drop problem. Like, I wish they could just give us the weapons, if you know what I mean. But at least they're somewhat acknowledging us, so that's a good sign. They're basically like, hey, we we hear you. We're gonna give you these double crypto key weekend and double liquid divinium weekend which is basically the equivalent to crypto keys for zombies all right all right <clears throat> wait a minute wait a damn minute 
Hold on, hold on. All right, my teammate's that way. Don't die me now, teammate. Where's he at? Is it this way? Oh! Wow. I think that guy did hear me or something. Or there was like a UAV up, I don't know. Alright, so we're at the second round here. But, back to what I was saying about the whole crypto key thing. If I were to actually choose either weapons exclusive to the black market or supply drops, or uh, paid map DLC, like season pass and whatnot, I think I would choose the weapon stuff, mainly because if you still had to, like, when you pay money to get map packs, wait, that's not a guy. Like, it fractures the player base. Ah. Should've thought the one through was 75 off a lightning strike. Yeah, I'd rather the instance where it's not uh, splitting up the player base. Like, I know, I know it's sort of like a random what if scenario, but still. Like, if Activision were to pick one or the other, I'd want them to. Uh, I think the same dude keeps killing me, yeah. I'd want them to go the weapon route. <clears throat> That's just me, I don't know. Is this guy gonna come out? No, dude. <clears throat> Alright, so. What the? Oh, wow. I thought, oh, my God. I thought the dude was mine of rock. So I didn't shoot at him. I gotta start focusing a little more. That's actually part of the reason why I'm not talking as much as I could in live comms like this because I'm trying to focus on the game. I actually got a comment on that yesterday on my Rogue One video. So basically like trying to juggle like doing well in a game and also uh, keeping up the commentary going if you know what I mean. So it's it's like a balance you have to hit and I haven't quite hit that balance yet but I mean it's not to say I won't get there like I'll definitely get there. It's just taking Oh my god, see this is what I'm talking about, but like, it's, it just takes improvement, that's all. Like if I were to just not say anything, I would probably drop like six nuclear, I, I don't know, but I, I do a lot better. So, back to the game, we got two flags captured, 141 to 71, we're winning. Where are the enemies at? The UAV says they're over there, but that's a given, because that's where they're spawning, since their flag is over there. I gotta be careful with my movement, since... I actually took off Dead Silence on purpose, just so I could sort of... practice... not sprinting into death all the time, since that's... that's one of the things I feel like I struggle the most with on Call of Duty. So I took it off. I didn't. Ha That's why I didn't have it on this class setup. Like if I were running an SMG, I'd definitely have dead silence on. But all right, I think they're going to be spawning back there. But I just want to. I hear them. They're right here. Uh, what, what am I doing? I'm not, I'm not even sure what I'm doing right here. I'm just... No! Alright. I guess none of those bullets could have registered. I literally went in with, like, no plan on that. Oh my god, that dude was flying. All right, 
right, so this game's just about over 196 to 97. Got the lead by about 100 points. So how do we go in that? 32 and 9, 5 caps, 3 defends, not too bad. Actually, had a pretty good start at the beginning. It's too bad we couldn't get our streaks again, but I mean, we managed to keep up a good pace, and that was a pretty not strong enough beginning as is, so. Perfect outcome, we got first, so. Yeah, I guess you could say that. And right there, you can see my new emblem. You guys have probably already seen that, but it's to match my current channel branding slash logo, so. And then I also got that pixelated motorcycle calling card, so it's pretty sweet. So that's going to be wrapping it up for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cryptic Element, signing out.